Hi, and thank you for joining me in this video. We're going to talk about significant figures in this video. We'll start out looking at a speedometer. And whenever you make measurements, in this case, trying to keep the speed constant, trying to estimate how fast you're going, um, you have some uncertainty in your estimation. If we look a little bit closer, you can see that this car is going someplace between 40 and 50, I guess, miles an hour. I think this is miles an hour. It doesn't say the units. And if you look even a little bit more closely, you can see it's just about 49. Um, so is it going 49 or 49.5 or 48.5, 49.1? Not quite sure. It's kind of hard to estimate. But let's call it 48.5 because we know it's sitting someplace between 48 and 49. And we'll say that our uncertainty is about a half mile per hour because we know it's falling someplace in uh, that range between 48 and 49. When we state our value, our physical quantity and our value, the value of the physical quantity, we would say that our speed, which is our physical quantity, has a value of 48.5 miles per hour with uncertainty of 0.5 miles per hour. Looking at this, we've got three significant figures, 48.5, and that last figure, 0.5, is the one that we have uncertainty in. So we have one a significant figure for uncertainty. Whenever we state uncertainty, we only use one figure, the plus or minus 0.5. We don't say plus or minus 0.52368, it's just plus or minus 0.5. So significant figures are reported as the number of certain digits plus one estimated digit. The things that determine the number of significant figures are things such as the sensors, how the sensors are measuring things and what the manufacturers state the uncertainty is. Or if you're doing the estimate, how are you estimating that? And then also, what do you need these numbers for? How close do you have to be? How accurate do you have to be? So here are the rules of thumb for significant figures. There are six different rules. We're going to go through the rules. Number one, all non-zero digits are significant. Looking at these two examples, 457 centimeters, there's three significant figures, and we are uncertain in that last one, the seven. The other value that we're looking at here in kilograms, 0 0.25, you got two numbers. The zero is not significant, but the 0 0.25 is. And we are uncertain in the, um, the number five in that figure or that value. Zeros between non-zero digits are significant. So here you have a pressure 1003.2 hectopascals. The two zeros between the one and the three are significant. So here you have five significant figures and you're uncertain in that last one, 0.2. Rule number three, zeros to the left of the first non-zero digit are not significant. They tell you the position of the decimal point. Here we have a value of uh, 0.05 millimeters, 0 0.05. The only significant figure there is the five and we have uncertainty in that one. Rule number four, zeros to the right of the decimal point are significant. They tell you the place um, of uncertainty. So in this case, you've got 10.0 degrees Fahrenheit and you're uncertain in that point zero. It could be point one, point two. We didn't state the uncertainty, but you're uncertain in that last value. And so we have say, three significant figures. Rule number five, when a number ends in zeros that are not to the right of the decimal point, the zeros are not necessarily significant. Uh, here's a couple of examples uh, looking at 900 hectopascals. 
is that one significant figure, it looks like one non-zero value, but maybe they measured it to the nearest 10 hectopascals or the nearest one hectopascal. You don't know. So uh, when you see a number like that, you scratch your head and wonder what are the significant figures and what is the uncertainty. You know, you can figure that out by putting a decimal point in. If you put a decimal point in, then you know 900 point decimal point indicates that there's three significant figures. And that last one, the one right before the decimal point is our uncertain value. Continue on the theme of rule number five. Um, if you um, use scientific notation, that usually helps you verify um, the, um, the significant figures and the uncertainty. Uh, for example, uh, the first one that we see there, 9.00, well, there are two zeros to the right of the decimal point, so we know that those are significant. And there's therefore three significant figures. Likewise, 9.0 is two significant figures. Or if you just see nine by itself times 10 to the uh, two hectopascals, there's only one significant figure there. And also, if you don't use significant figures, if you just have 900, but if, it's, uh, if you also make other measurements and you record those measurements, uh, for example, 908, hectopascals of 902, um, the context that we use this in, where it looks like we're measuring to the nearest um, uh, uh, hectopascal, that's where un our uncertainty is. So um, it would be 900 and that last number we are uncertain because uh, you see the other ones are 908, 902. So we're uncertain in that last number and we have three significant figures. And then finally, rule number six. Rule number six says that when you're performing calculation, the results, significant figures are limited by the least accurate measurement. So we're looking at a circle here. We're gonna figure out the circumference of a circle. The equation is uh, two pi r. Two is exact. It's not 2.0, 2.00, it's two. And it's, so there's no uncertainty in two, so we can just multiply it by two. Pi also is carried to several digits. You can carry it to several digits. So that is something that has um, lots of uh, certainty, the number. What's uncertain is your measurement. And here we're measuring the circle or the radius of the circle to be 0 0.00500 meters. In this case, the two zeros to the left of the five are not significant. They're just placeholders, but the two to the right are significant. And if you put it in scientific notation, it would be 5.00 times 10 to the minus three meters. So you got three significant figures. So when you do your calculation, multiply it by two, multiply it by pi, by pi and you would end up with three significant figures. And the correct answer would be 0 0.0 314. Zero is not significant, but the 314 are significant. And another thing also is um, you're always, uh, you know, rule number six says the results significant figures are limited by the least accurate measurement. Here we have two measurements. Uh, one we're measuring down to the tenth of a degree Fahrenheit, the other one just to a degree Fahrenheit. So when you take the difference in these two numbers, you're gonna end up with 6.1. But you are, your least, uh, your least accurate measurement is the 41 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not 41.0, it's 41. So we're uncertain in that last digit, that last number, the, uh, the one of 41. So when you take the difference, you're uncertain down to um, one degree Fahrenheit or the degrees Fahrenheit. In this case, you wouldn't carry the, um, the calculation to two significant figures because you're uncertain in that uh, units. So uh, it would be considered six degrees Fahrenheit. And here's a little test looking at significant figures, looking at these values. How many significant figures do you have in each one of those? And the answer is five. 
Remember, um, the zeros to the left of uh, the number are only placeholders. So regardless of the number of zeros, still there are uh, actually four significant figures. I can't count, there's four significant figures. And then finally, here's another example. If you're going to use significant figures, it's uh, really handy to put in exponential notation and then there's no doubt. For example, looking at 45300, zero, zero, you're not sure how many significant figures. But if you put it in scientific notation, the 4.53 times 10 to the fourth, well, there's definitely three there. The 4.530 times 10 to the fourth, well, there's four. And then finally, the last one, there is five. So scientific notation really helps us clarify what our uncertainty is. I hope that was helpful. And I'll see you in another video.